good morning super cool party people and welcome to Monday morning where I slept until like just after 10. I was sleep was very necessary. I got like nine hours so ugh, feeling great, feeling rested. My body doesn't hurt anymore. All is well. I also got a text from my boss like did you make it into work? Did you get here fine? But I'm not working today. <laughs> but then, like an hour later, another panicked, are you alright? <laughs> but yeah, no, so, all is well. And the reason that he's asking is because it's still snowing. It's not snowing as bad, like it's very small flex, but I mean, that's some deep snow there. I'm not sure how deep it is, but it's gotta be a couple inches at least. Anyway. I'm up and moving now. I'm probably gonna go make myself some breakfast or lunch or equivalent and then figure out what I'm doing today. I wrote a little list last night that I can look at today, but I mean, we're still uploading the vlog from last night or yesterday because I didn't want to upload it last night because I wanted to go to sleep. So we'll get ourselves situated here and then see what we get up to. Okay, like see, I'm not gonna get far enough out there to like measure it, but that looks like about four inches of snow. <laughs> what? That's so crazy. That's so much snow. Anyways, I'm upstairs now. I'm partially dressed. I'm struggling. Um, partially dressed. Time to make some food, but first need to do a little bit of a tidy up here so there's actually room to make food. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna have, but we'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, so I ate lunch and tidied the kitchen and now I'm going to go shovel the driveway, I think, because like I said, there's like four or five inches out there and we got cars that need to come in and out. So I've got my snow pants here. So I'm gonna put them on, put on my snow boots and probably just a really hefty fleece, but not a jacket because otherwise I'll sweat too much. But yeah, we're gonna go do that and I'm sure it's gonna be so much fun. Okay. So so I shoveled the driveway and this driveway sucks a little bit because the driveway at our old place was like pretty flat whereas this one has like a fence on one side and like a partial wall on the other side. So you can't just like shovel it off. You gotta figure out what to do with it. But it is shoveled and I put down some ice melter so that the parts that I did shovel like the walkway won't suddenly become covered in snow again hopefully but the snow has laid off a bit which is nice apparently we've got a snowfall warning in effect overnight though so I think around seven it's supposed to start snowing again so we'll see what happens but fingers crossed it won't be crazy I'm doing laundry now I've got a lot of my meal prep done for later today as in I've defrosted food I haven't actually done any prep but it's fine uh, so I'm going to make my bed, do some tidying now, and kind of start getting onto this list here because it's a long one today. It goes all the way down. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at. Okay, so part of the reason I decided to shovel the driveway was because I was like, if I shovel the driveway, then I don't need to go do cardio today. But, and I just wrote a blog post about this, I'm really good at procrastinating by doing other things because I don't want to do something else. So I don't want to query. I don't want to work on my query stuff. So at this point, really all I have left to do on my list is cardio. So I guess I'm going to go do some cardio for a while and then, um, then I can cook dinner. See, procrastination is key, but also terrible. And then tonight, hopefully I'll be able to start working on my query letters again because I need to start getting them out again. I need to stop being such a lazy bum. So I'm going to pop upstairs. It might be a slow one because yesterday was a bit of a blah day and I did also shovel already so I might just do like a chill chill cardio but we're gonna do it because I was going strong four days in a row and then I just fell off the wagon for three so back on the wagon or the train or whatever it is we get okay so I said I was gonna just chill and like not go hard and I like <laughs> up the resistance more than I ever have on the elliptical and I went pretty hard and I don't know why but I think it's because it's getting easier and that's really awesome because it's the first time like it sucked and it was hard but every time it's gone a little bit easier so I'm feeling pretty jazzed did I think 35 minutes all together um, and if you're bored that I'm sharing this this is the reason why I'm doing it so I started the vlog to hold me accountable for my writing and stuff like 
it sucks to come on the vlog and be like, I did absolutely nothing today related to the reason that I quit my job. So <laughs> I found it was really successful with that and also me just finding routines and stuff that worked for me. I've tried to work out before and I haven't said a thing about it on the vlog. And I found that that meant I just didn't feel like I needed to keep like there was nothing to hold me accountable So that is why I am talking about it all the time. I'm sorry if it's boring. Also Do you see how bright this shirt is? I have a problem when I buy workout gear I like to buy pants that are fun and patterned and I like to buy shirts that are ridiculous colors You might see the problem here. Nothing goes well together. So I have like this bright neon yellow shirt on right now and my pants are purple and white with floral designs like it's I can't kick that high so you're not gonna see them but yeah it's special anyway I've got about half an hour here before I need to start prepping dinner and I'll probably do my meal prep at the same time because both are chickens so gonna do that in a little bit here so I'm just gonna chill for a bit maybe stretch a bit but I'm feeling good I'm feeling jazzed and yeah I don't know why I'm doing this. You can't see my thumbs. Yeah. All right, so I just finished up upstairs, cooked dinner. It's made a mess. Did a bunch of meal prep. I was coming downstairs and I was like, crap, I have nothing else left to do except for my query letters. I can procrastinate no longer. I think I mentioned it. I wrote a blog post about how procrastination is okay, which people are liking, so that's awesome, but I was like, oh, we're done. All I've got left on my list is query letters. And then I remembered I still have to fold my laundry and I hate folding laundry and putting it away, but it's something that's not my query letter. I've had such a productive day despite the fact that I slept until like 10.30 and also that I've been very adamantly ignoring query letters, but that's pretty much it. I have fold clothes, put clothes away, query letter, and edit the vlog, so, and it's only eight, so, that's not gonna take me a long enough time that I need to edit my vlog, so I guess I will work on my query letter after I take care of my laundry. So it turns out that even when I'm being super kind of not productive at all, but even when I'm focusing on something, I'm super good at procrastinating at it. Like, my laundry took me <laughs> like over an hour to deal with because I was like, oh, I'm just gonna watch this YouTube video. I'm just gonna watch this YouTube video. Uh, but I did get it all away, so at least that's a win. And then I got onto my query letter stuff. So one of the things I've been struggling with is comparables or like authors that I would put myself alongside. Cause that's like, that's a very like, heady thing like oh yes just compare me to these published authors um <laughs> but that's one thing I've struggled with because there aren't a lot of books I don't think that I've come across at least very similar to the things that ha I, it's so hard not to like give everything away because I don't remember what I've said but anyway um so yeah I'm struggling a little bit with that but that's okay we'll get through i think i found i think i've got two now so maybe that's enough i don't know um but i worked on that for quite a while i it says a brief cover letter or it says a cover letter and my cover letters over a page right now and so i don't know if that's too long or if that's okay and then there's a couple little spots in it that i'm not happy with also like <laughs> The, one of the questions is like, talk about why you're so passionate about writing and that's like half of a page and I don't think it needs to be that long. So I can probably make that a little bit more concise and then maybe it won't be so long. And like this one, they also like, if you're writing a series, please tell us about the series. So that's like another half a page and then everything else is just kind of between. So yeah, it's fun, it's great. Um, so I think I'm gonna put that to the side for a while and then start working on the synopsis again. It got a little warm in here. <laughs> so I went through my book chapter by chapter and I wrote down like one or two sentences from every chapter for my synopsis. <laughs> but that still makes it like eight pages long, which is a little bit too long, especially when they're either asking for a one page synopsis or a brief synopsis. <laughs> so that's where we're at now. That's what we're working on. <sighs> but once I get that done, I think I can send off to two agencies. Let's see. <laughs> 
yeah so the one I just need like a quick little blurb so that's not too bad and then the other one is the one that I've been working on this stupid query letter forever so once I finish that and finish the synopsis I've got two that I can send off to and that is very exciting but as I was saying earlier and which is why I started this clip and I don't understand how it's at four minutes now because I came on to say one thing and end the vlog I managed to make the other things I was doing take a super long time so now it's like a 10 o'clock and that's usually about the time that I like to end the vlog so I can try to get to sleep before it's too crazy late <laughs> so with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure of procrastination. Make sure that you do hit that subscribe button so you can come along for more adventures when sometimes we actually do things or leave the house. And I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night!